Woo! Hey everyone, this is Dara from Daily Crypto Trading. It's coming to you live, live from Vietnam, guys. It's a great time to be live, and uh, we're in Vietnam right now. You guys can see exactly where we are. We're on top of the freaking world out there. So this is going to be a short video, a pretty, pretty short update, guys. And I know that a lot of you are wondering what is going on, what the, what is going on with the crypto markets, and you know we're seeing everything is going down. We're seeing a bit of a correction. Uh, some may, some people may call it a dump. Uh, from my perspective, uh, anything less than 10 percent anything more than 10% is a dump uh, from my perspective so you know what is, what's going on guys is you know we have the whole Kraken thing we have the whole Gary Gensler thing and the whole SEC finding uh, against the uh, Kraken and uh, you know they've stopped staking guys so this has had really a kind of a a ripple of a ripple effect through all the crypto markets uh, a lot of people have uh, seen this as a catalyst an absolute catalyst out there that could initiate and uh, be basically the spear that says we're going to get more crypto reg regulation. Now, keep in mind that uh, Gary Gensler doesn't have much uh, much time in office, and he's he's also trying to uh, make a mark for himself. Uh, but I, I just think that this is going to be very very short lived. It's not going to be a long term thing. And also, too, remember the XRP case against the well the SEC case against XRP. XRP is going to win, and this is this is just going to be basically uh you know this is going to be a total uh blow to to gary to our friend gary out there and uh you know that's going to be basically the end of uh gary's uh shenanigans uh, gary's chaos out there uh you know from that perspective you know having a correction having a correction is very very normal and we're seeing a normal correction and remember we need to have a correction we need to have a correction before the markets can can go up again so it's good it's pretty healthy that we're seeing a big market dump right now and uh you know i mean it's, it's not a dump it's a correction it's a correction uh, i mean from my perspective uh, a dump is anything uh, more than 10 percent don't forget we got uh, we've got uh, the cpi data coming out on february 14th happy valentine's day on that one and absolutely we're going to be seeing that the report is going to be positive and that is when we're going to see a nice reversal to the upside uh you know dogecoin is uh, dogecoin is sitting at uh, you know around about eight cents right now we're seeing that uh you know, uh, Bitcoin right now is trading anywhere between 20, 22,000, 222,600. So that's kind of that's kind of you know the range for 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 Bitcoin and, and cryptocurrency. So I'm not too worried. You should not be worried out there. What should you be doing is uh, keeping some dry powder on the side. Uh, you know, dollar cost average on a weekly basis. That's what I do. Remember, everything you see here is not financial advice. Just an OG expressing my opinion. And uh, guys, don't forget to uh, lick the likes, uh, love the likes, bang the likes, and show some love uh, for the OG. And don't forget to subscribe if you're watching. So this is just a you know a quick update. Uh, uh, you know we've got some you know as i said in my previous videos we have uh, you know news coming out uh, uh, regarding the doge x1 mission to the moon that's going to be coming out in q3 now and remember that delay is not because of uh, not because of the uh, the uh, satellite or the payload is because of uh, spacex and why is elon musk delaying the launch of the doge x doge one x mission to the moon that's because he wants to make sure that everything goes off without a hitch he wants to make sure that there's not going to be anything that is going to jeopardize the payload or jeopardize the mission so that is why we are absolutely seeing that there's a delay because he wants to make sure it's perfect out there and, and I'm happy I, you guys should be happy in the Doge community if you want to see things being perfect because I want to see things perfect because the last thing we want is that payload to blow up in the atmosphere and uh, that will be the end of the Doge 1 X mission to the moon because that would be a big Debbie Downer event and you don't you and I don't want a big Debbie Downer event I don't want a Debbie, big Debbie Downer event so guys you know don't panic we're going we're going to get there and i think you know q3 is just around the corner and i think that's uh, when we're going to see uh, bitcoin uh, dogecoin and and everything is going to be looking much much prettier than where we are now so don't worry february is coming and still even if you take all of the losses that we have in february and minus the gains that we had in january we're still up over 30% people just just let that sink in we're up uh, year to date over 30 percent so not too shabby what are you whinging for what are you whining for and i don't i don't see this there's not going to be any big debacles not there's not going to be another luna there's not going to be another celsius there's not going to be another ftx uh and there's not going to be another three arrows uh all of those things are kind of like behind us right now so i wouldn't worry too much about it absolutely guys wouldn't worry too much about it yeah we are seeing a red day 
remember guys let's be let's be realistic about things we can't see we can't expect things to go up forever right come on come on things just don't do that that's not that's not life in a big city guys things things do not go up forever okay if you expect things to go up forever then you're you're, you're not living uh, in reality you're living uh, in la la land guys so don't suffer from uh, you know la la land uh, complex out there because you know at the end of the day you know, there's going to be upsies, there's going to be downsies, but overall, the long-term trendy, trendy Wendy is your friendy. I'm not going to jump, guys. I'm not going to jump, guys. Uh, look, look, look where we are right now. You know, we got the. In case you haven't seen, we got we got the Hilton over there. Uh, Hilton over there. We got the beach. Today is kind of like foggy. This is not pollution. This is fog. This is fog. Uh, it's beautiful, guys. It's a beautiful day. So the OG, the OG. I'm going to go off the beach today with the family. Uh, go out for lunch, all that kind of stuff. So, guys, you know, don't don't freaking panic out there. Absolutely, don't freaking panic out there. It's a great time to be alive. Doge is going to get there. We are going to get the Doge coin uh, tippy jar. We are going to get the Doge coin uh, currency. We're going to do that. Uh, you know, this whole you know the, the whole centralized exchanges and and not allowing staking and all that kind of thing. I I I don't think it's going to stick, guys. I absolutely don't. I don't think it's going to stick. I think. In my heart of hearts, it's going to get reversed and Kraken will have stake in it. So, I mean, last time I checked, I checked my Binance account. Staking is still still available on Binance, guys. So, we still have staking over there. So, so far, it's an isolated thing uh, with, with Kraken out there. I remember Kraken is US-based, right? Overseas, overseas exchanges, this whole uh, gear. Gary, Gary thing is not is not gonna is not gonna affect not gonna be a, not gonna affect those exchanges. So it is what it is. Maybe you need to move your crypto uh, offshore to an exchange uh, that's not in not in the not in the U.S. of A. Uh, to avoid that kind of thing. So I'm not telling you what to do, but you know from my perspective, uh, I'm not feeling I'm not feeling any of the uh, you know I'm not feeling anything with regards to with regards to the Gary's uh, decision on Kraken. So. It is what it is, and that's remember. You also have to keep in perspective that you know there are other people outside of the U.S. that have crypto. And remember, anything that Gary does doesn't affect uh, a large portion of the population, like me. Okay, uh, so you know, just keep on keeping on. Uh, you know, Elon Musk is doing Elon Musk. Uh, Twitter's coming around. Uh, you know, Twitter is now. Uh, if you're a Twitter Blue uh, subscriber, you can do a more long-form content on uh, Twitter. So that's pretty good. We got buses. The buses, the buses are coming for me. So it's it's pretty, pretty, pretty nice day here in 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 VT, VT land, <laughs> Vietnam land, and uh, I'm off to work tomorrow. But you know, overall, once again, cryptos are going down. It's a correction. Uh, I told you this was going to happen. I did tell you it's going to happen, and it's happening. It's absolutely happening, and uh, we will we will absolutely reverse to the upside. It's a matter of time. I mean. You know, Wendy Trending is your friend. Zoom out. Cryptos are going up. We got 2025, uh, 2024. March is the next halving, right? Uh, so what we're seeing, we're going to see a nice slow accumulation, accumulation rise, and then after the halving, we're going to see pow. We're going to see a huge blast off. So that's what's happening. That's what's happening, guys and gals. So don't be panicking. Don't be, you know, don't be, you know. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. So I just want to make you guys feel better about the crypto markets. I want you guys to feel better about your uh, portfolios. Uh, bottom line, we're year to date, we're still up like 30%. So nothing too much to worry about, guys. So that's going to bring this video to a close, this casual, casual video. Hopefully you guys like it. I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to go down there, smash the likes, lick the likes, show some love for the OG. And also don't forget to share this video. And Super Chats would be much appreciated. So all I got to say is peace out.